Welcome one and all, welcome to the Jump Start, where I always talk about the brand new stuff that Shonen Jump decides to bring out through its new series. I have already talked about the first new series already coming around on Shonen Jump, that's already got three chapters out there at the moment as I'm speaking. The Promised Neverland, I will link you down below where you can go and see those videos so far, and that so far seems very promising from what we got. And we got the next brand new series from there, being the one that is actively replacing the love magazine, the romance comedy known as Nisekoi to be the brand new slice of life romance with a bit of goodiness to it, Love Rush. This being the, uh, done by like, Ryohei Yamamoto, this is someone I'm not familiar with. I think this is the first time they've actually had their series publicized in Jump and in other series, but this one was a little bit weird to me at being introduced and all that, saying like, okay, we've got angels and demons, and we've got other kind of spiritual animals around there, and saying like, like saying beyond human awareness, many kinds of beings inhabit this world, maybe in different periods, but they all have hearts just like humans, and eventually someone, like, they all fall in love, and we cut to our main character, Reiji like Hakuba, who basically crushes a puss all day, every day, but then he's like, I don't want it. One of the most interesting things, as they say it straight at the start of the series, is that, like, he has a very rare DNA thing, like, with him. With Reggie Yakuba, like, he has a very unusual gene, which is called the Uber Male Gene, which basically endows its carrier with strong powers to attract women in order to propagate its offspring and all that. So, basically, this is the thing where it's like, not only is he, like, kind of rejecting these girls because he's already got one girl in mind and all that, but every single girl in, like, like in the school and all that wants this D real bad. And I mean everyone. One of the most interesting things about this, like, series I found out was, like, actually, this is about seniors. Like, this guy is 18, like, already in the series, which I was like... Okay, that's slightly interesting, because, like, news is quite everything plays it very safe, where it's like, oh, let's have 14, 15-year-olds, let's go now and go into right the end of the series. But I kind of like that the ones it's like, it's actually got, like, readers that are probably around about that same age. I'm pretty sure that most people actually seeing this video and actually at that point are probably around about, the eight, like, 18, 16 to maybe 20 mark. And I don't know, that was the most interesting thing I thought. I was like, okay, like, we've got a new, like, kind of, maybe they might try and be a little bit more serious with it. But then, honestly, the main character of the series stuff, Reggie, I, I could, if it honestly wasn't the different art and all that, he honestly just looks like Rito from To Love Rue with, like, the whole love con kind of thing going for him. And then immediately... Like, it's like, oh, wacky scenario happens, which is like, as he's being chased by literally the fucking ocean of pussy that's going after him, a angel legit just, like, falls down on the sky and just says, oh, yeah, I'm gonna hit, like, this fucking guy, like, down, and immediately this angel just comes down with her wings bestowing him, and he's like, what the fuck is this shimmering light and all that, and this beautiful, gentle smile, and then she just starts freaking out and just going, oh, my God, we're aging with me at last, oh, my God, you're so beautiful and all that. And I, I'm going to butcher this name. Her name is Kokoro Roko Roko Koko. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what the fuck is that? It's like, this is the most, like, Kokoro Roko Rokoko. Like, that is how you pronounce it. And it is a tongue twister for sure, especially for me. And it's just like, I am a Cupid from the Divine Realm and a Cupid princess that is. And it's like, and she's here to marry you, like, Reiji, because, like, I love you so much, and all that, we're gonna have ten kids, we're gonna, uh, and he's like, whoa, let's just calm the fuck down here, and it's just like, you know, we're from, like, the celestial realm, and it's like, this little cute little fucking, like, um, like, attendant as well, like, uh, I believe her name was, like, Cubico, it's like, oh, yeah, we do this, and it's like, and um, we normally, you know, like, they, like, they fulfill the lot long needs of the human heart, we normally help with people like that, like, Cupid's fire their arrows to help, you know, unacquainted love, and it's just like, you know, this first time I saw you, Reiji, it's like, you know, I felt like a frothing ache in my heart and it's just like it was just so weird like this is just like what the fuck is going on and it's just like you know what he's like fuck it I'm out says my heart belongs to someone else gonna get rid of that and then finds out that his heart belongs to like this girl like sh very shy girl that doesn't say too much which is a uh, Shizuku like uh, I think her name was like Ichinomiya like and the only thing is like he mainly likes us Thor it's like their childhood friends which you know that always has to fucking happen you know always got a childhood friend like being into the mix of it but then as well she seemingly is not affected by his like major cr uh, like, like push crush technology of the uber gene like, like apparently 
happening, and, like, she, uh, one thing I thought was cool was, like, oh, she likes karate, like, oh, she's an actual martial artist, and, like, the one bit that actually got me a chuckle in the manga, where it was, like, when I was reading the first chapter, is, like, when he fell down, and he's just, like, oh, the fucking dad comes in, and he's, like, if anything happens to my precious cupcake, daddy will murder them, and then immediately gets his fucking shit kicked in from the door, I was just, like, it's, like, yo, dad, shut the fuck up, take it, take an L, I'm trying to deal with shit right now, and it's, like, and that was the thing. It was like, like he's got this unrequited life that he's like, he can have all these other girls he wanted and all that. Every like every other boy in the world would love this power and all that of having the uber gene for like the people that they love the most. You know, boy or guy, whether it's your fancy and all that. It's like you want this shit so bad, but it's like ah, oh, I fucking hate that though. In like any romance series where the main character is a pussy, but then again he's trying to go. Like I feel like it's. Playing it a little bit too safe with the whole, oh, I'm kooky girl next to, like, I'm kind of shy girl, like, kind of like, oh, mysterious, like, it really screams to love Rue, and, you know, this is someone that's, like, seen quite a bit to love Rue, and it's like, you know, I enjoy to love Rue for it easily, even though it's like, uh, like, nowadays, to love Rue darkness is just fucking just hentai this it's just like straight up, and this isn't going to go into that route, hopefully, but, like, even still, it's like, I could definitely say, like, one of the biggest issues in definitely the first chapter, and I know it's like it's just the first chapter setting everything up, is that it has an interesting concept with the whole angels and everything coming from the other world. It's playing it really too like safe though, and it feels very generic. Like I'd say like that it's kind of the safest word to say for it, but then it's like I feel like generic kind of means like a very bad term. But like I feel like it plays it too safe. There's the more word I'm looking for. I feel like if this is your first harem or like slice of life thing that you've seen, you'll definitely like that. But I think people like especially me and all that who want to see kind of more like slice of life or actual romances than just like let's have the harem comedy kind of stuff going on to it. Like this t tends to an audience like that and I think like it's the more it's, it's going to tend to the more harem comedy stuff with a little bit of romance in there. Personally I want to see actual romance like uh, you know boy meets girl like and the relationship builds from there. I, it could go that way. I would hope so, but it feel like it definitely feels like this is the series that's trying to fill in Nisekoi's shoes since Nisekoi definitely turned into a harem later on in the uh, series. And it's like, hey, let's do that now and let's fill in those shoes. We need something else to fill in that gap, and that's definitely what it could be uh, going to be. And then just literally how it, like the actual chat ends, like as we was going, like, oh, why, why, like, uh, why didn't you just like put like you know like the Cupid arrow on him and all that? And he's like, even though he's trying to take care of you and all that, and it's like, I, I, but even regardless and all that, and he's saying like, why do you care for me and all that? It's like, even though I can't be with you and all that, and it's like, I know you don't have special feelings but it's like all I can tell like, is how much I love you and I'm like you know there are some bits in here where it's like oh there's some adorable stuff in here like you know I definitely like the main girl a lot and all that it's like She's definitely like, you know, Kokoro, she's definitely like, kind of cute with like, what she does and all that. And literally, of course, when Reiji is now about to like, confess his love to like, the girl and all that, he, like, coincidence just happens where it's just like, all these demons and fucking shit, like just demons and otherworldly beings, like fairies and all that, just come out. I swear there's one at like, the, one of the last panels on that where you see fucking Aquarius from Fairy Tale. Like, Aquarius is just there. Where it's just like, so I'm here. I'm here for that fucking ragey D, like, and just everyone's here. It's like, oh, we've waited until you turned 18, cause that's the, you know, that's the time for marriage and everything. It's like, yo, go in, push that shit, go in like that, and just like the Halloween, like the other girl just reacts. It's just like, oh, is it Halloween or some shit? Like, what the fuck is all this like weird shit going on? But like, other than that, like, I thought like, it was fine. Like, I definitely think Love Rush was okay, but then as well, like. It doesn't help, like, comparing it to other... Like, if it's trying to be compared to another romance's first chapter. And especially Nisekoi, where, like, clearly this is what it's supposed to be replacing. Like, this is, like, what it's trying to do immediately. Like, and definitely I say Nisekoi has a way better first chapter than this does. I, I think... At the moment and all that, it has an interesting premise, and I'm looking forward to see if it survives the fucking jump slaughter hurdle, or it actually turns into its own thing. At the moment, though, I wouldn't really recommend this to, like, veterans of the, like, who have seen a lot of slice of life comedy, like, romance. So I feel like, for a lot of people, it'll feel very repetitive. And, like, if it's one of your first, though, 
I would recommend it. I think the most interesting things about this is not that I definitely like kind of the angels and all kind of otherworldly beings coming out of that. I find that kind of interesting. I do actually kind of like the characters are like 18. Like, I, I think that's kind of interesting. Like, they're all like seniors now and not just like immediately little 14, 15 year old kids and all that. So, I definitely like that. It's like, you know, so you can guess and relate some of that to your age. But I, and I definitely think, like, you know, Kokoda, like, like, I think she was absolutely adorable in like the entire chapter. So, you know, there, there are some real good points on that. Will it survive the slaughter of jump? Whether or not that will do it, I, I honestly generally don't know. And it plays too, just too safe. Like, I think, like, that was the problem for us. So, at overall, the final score for the first chapter of Love Rush, I am going to have to give it a 5.5 out of 10. I think it does some new interesting contents and all that, but I generally think it's pretty average first chapter for the series, which is not something you want to be having and all that. Like, I know Promise Neverland, like, the definitely delivered a very shocking like, finale, like, whoa, like that, for its first chapter, but you do kind of need to step up your game and get people very interested in that first chapter. You definitely need to pull out some stops and all that to get people really caring for. However, though, I am generally interested in the next work and all that will be coming out mainly because it's from the same author that did Iron Knight, which is something I really loved and I thought had a potential to become one of the new big action series, and unfortunately got cancelled during, to like, you know, the slaughter fest and all that, that Shonen Jump likes to do and all that, but it is being done by Tomohiro Yagi and his new series, which is going to be called Red Sprite, which I am looking forward, that's coming out in the next issue and all that, but then I will be talking about that next week and all that, but let me know you guys think in the comments down below, what do you think of Love Rush? Did you enjoy it? That's fantastic, I hope you do and all that. To me, played it a little bit too safe, so I'm definitely looking forward to that, but I say so far, out of the two out of the three and all that that I have read and all that, that out, I would definitely say Promise Neverland has the most promise and all that to survive the slaughter and all that, so we'll have to see if Love Rush definitely steps up the game, we'll have to wait and see, but that's all for me, thank you much for watching, always let me know you guys think in the comments section down below, but I'll see you guys though next time.